Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm making a video in Blocks Fruits to show you all how to get this fighting style superhuman. Let's get straight into it. So the first requirements for superhuman are to get 300 mastery in every fighting style aside from Death Step and Sharkman Karate. That includes Dragon Breath, Electro, Water Kung Fu, and Dark Step. You can get Dragon Breath by coming over to these things. I don't know what to call them. And inside one of them, there is Sabo, or Sabi. You can talk to him, and for quite a few <laughs> fragments, actually, you can learn Dragon Breath. The other three fighting styles you will need to get to Mastery 3, 300 is the half hot half cold island this over here is the half hot half cold island it's the fire on ice island or whatever you want to call it but the three fighting styles are right over here on the hot island near the boss right over here so all of them are bundled together which is really good because in Old World, you had to go find them individually. So the Mad Scientist is here for Electro. The Water Kung Fu teacher is here for Water Kung Fu. Dark Step teacher for Dark Step. And once you have all of those techniques to mastery 300, then you'll need to save up for 3 million cash. Now, once you have the 3 million cash, go over to the Snow Island. Once you've reached the snow island, just go over to the right side of it, across the bridge, and fall down. And by fall down, I mean off the side. And as you can see, there'll be a little opening down there. So just go inside, follow the path, and there we go. He's a martial arts master. Talk to them. They'll say, oh, good job on getting three... 300 mastery in every fighting style now give me 3 million cash for superhuman once you give them 3 million cash you get this superhuman in the bottom right you can see the moves and how much mastery are required for each and now for the superhuman showcase so the first move is beast owl punch in that move you will kind of fly over to your enemy and if you hit any enemy you'll do a barrage of punches there we go as you can see it does quite a bit of damage here is it from the side and once it finishes the move it chucks your enemy away the second move is thunderclap it's a really really big clap that once you do it, it's a big area of effect move. 2,200 damage right there. These are my stats. All right, let me show you it again. There we go. It has a big area of effect around you. Not much up or down, but yeah, it's pretty good move. And the final move, Conqueror's Gun. Conqueror's Gun is a teleport move. So you aim your mouse somewhere you use it, it teleports there, and if it hits an enemy, it attacks them. This is what it looks like. I think that did like 3,000 damage. This is Conqueror's Gun from the side. As you can see, you teleport and rush into your enemy. Some pretty good combos for Superhuman. Uh, Beast Owl Punch. Teleport. And then Thunderclap. That does quite a bit of damage, like almost 5,000 damage, I think. Now the next combo is also pretty good. It's Beast Owl, and then Conqueror's Gun straight after. And then if you want, you can teleport and use Thunderclap. Superhuman is really good, and I mean really good for combos. So, if you're pretty good at aiming, and you want a super powerful fighting style, Superhuman's for you. 
Another thing Superhuman can be used for is mobility because it's got a move that makes you fly and a move that makes you teleport it's really good for mobility. As you can see in just two moves and a couple jumps I made it from there all the way up to here and you can also aim where you fly with the B-style punch. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.